Okay, now let's solve problem 2.16 together using the KVL and KCL cookbook that you can find on Moodle. So first, the step one is to label everything. So we're given this problem where we want to determine four different currents, I1, I2, I3, and I4, which are all already labeled on this circuit. But we want to label everything. So I'm going to just label those resistors R, R1, R2, and R3. When uh, I label these resistors, one thing that you might know is since the current I1 is already traveling through the resistor, I just decided to call the resistor I1 as well. This is a convenient thing that you may want to do as well. Then step two, we should add a signage for the voltage drop, and we should also add current arrows. So to add the signs for the voltage drop, I'm going to add the signs in the direction of the current arrow. So I'm always going to go from high to low. So I'm going to assume that the arrow points from high, which is positive, to low, which is negative. So I've added these voltage drop labels here, here, here and here. So this step is done. And then this other part of step two is that we should add current arrows, but this was already done. So in the problem as given, we already had these current arrows labeled. Step three, we should check, does anything have the same current? We should check to see if anything is in series by checking to see if anything has the same current. And we already know that the currents one through four are different. And then there's one more current that we know about, which was labeled as four amps. So all of these currents are different, which means nothing is going to be in series here. In step four, we could write the Ohm's law equation for each resistor, but instead let's, like Dr. First, let's do it as we go for this problem. So while we're writing the KVL and KCL, we'll write in Ohm's law as we need to. Now let's keep track of our unknowns. So how many unknowns are there? We have four currents, which are all unknown. So we'll say that we have four unknowns. So because we have four unknowns, we need four different equations to solve this circuit. Now in step six, let's write some KVL loops. So I chose two KVL loops, one that goes around the outer, outermost edges of this circuit, and another in pink that goes through that loop on the left side. We don't have any current sources, so we can write a lot of different loops that we want. But these two loops are convenient because we can solve them quickly. <clears throat> in fact, each one is just going to have uh, one unknown in it. So each one of these loops will have create one equation with one unknown, which is one reason why these two loops are good ones to solve for. So in the first loop, if we start right here, we go uh, minus 12 across this battery or this voltage source, then from high to low. So here we went from minus to positive. Here we're going to from positive to negative. So we're going to switch signs right here. So we did minus 12 plus four amps times one ohm. And this is how we're writing Ohm's law as we go. Then we come across the unknown here, current I3 through resistor of eight ohms. And then we go from positive to negative on this five volt battery and then from negative to positive on the one volt battery. So when we go down this battery from positive to negative, we added it. And when we went uh, through this battery from negative to positive, we're going to subtract it here on our KVL. So we can see that this equation here is one equation and one unknown. So we're going to solve it for current I3. Now let's do the other KVL. This other KVL is also going to be easy for us to do because it's going to result in one equation with one unknown. So we'll start in the same place as before. We'll go minus 12 volts 
as we go across the battery, and then plus four amps, which was in the known current times one ohm, and then down this diagonal arm with I1 times the four ohm resistor. We can solve this to get the current I1 as two amps. Now we're out of KVLs that have that are one equation, one unknown. So let's write some KCLs, which is step seven. So remember, we had four equations and four unknowns. So let's finish out by writing two more equations to solve for those last two unknowns. We'll do this top node for the KCL, where we have current four amps going in. So that's positive. And then we have three currents going out. And we'll write those as subtractions. So four amps minus one current I1 minus current I2 minus current I3. Then from before, we know current I, I1, and we also know current I3. So let's substitute them in, or as we sometimes say, let's plug them in to this equation, and let's solve for I2. So now we've solved three equations for three unknowns, and that leaves us with the fourth equation for the fourth unknown. Well, well we will write this KCL of I1 going into the node. This one, this current is coming out of the node all the way. It's labeled up there, but it's coming out all the way across the battery, right? It's in series with this, so it's coming out all the way. And then we have a current I4, which is going across this battery and into that node. Again, from before, we know what I1 is. So let's plug this into the equation and get I4 equals 2 amps. So we were actually able to solve these as we go, as we went to solve for all four of the unknowns in this case. So this is how you use the cookbook that you can find on Moodle to solve for the four equations and the four unknowns on this problem. Thank you and see you in the next video.